<laughs> oh, that's that's a neat table with the plants in the middle. These are just like countertops for preparing your food. Cooking. Yeah, it might be countertop. But we can come up here and look over the edge because we're tall enough and you can see that's the quarry down in there. Yeah, Nate's climbing. Yeah. I think that's a pretty bush. Yeah. That bush needs trimming. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this is really neat. I like all the faces in the walls and stuff. The faces in the walls. Yeah. All the interdimensional visualizations. Did you see the other one over there? No, uh -uh. we're going to check the other one over there. Check it out. We're checking it out. Yeah, we haven't got that door done too. You want to spin that guy like crazy? Oh, we've got this. What is it? This is interesting. It's like, it looks like a self-portrait. Oh, Probably. so they really are faces. I thought you were like kidding. Wow, look at that. This is a face. Like self-portrait? Man, the guy. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. It smells remarkably like... It does. Uh, yeah, it does. I noticed that when I was here, too. Remarkably. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like a mini pineapple. It does. It is. Look, we have a pineapple tree. So he actually grew his food here. Oh, how amazing. See, it's a pineapple, mini pineapple growing in a, some kind of a little planter along with these other plants. It might be edible. It would make sense if it was. See the mini pineapple? Is that what that is? Yeah, check it out, it bro. Like it. it is. It's got to be. It looks exactly like one. Yeah. yeah. Remarkably. Pineapple. Is there any information about this structure? Yeah, this structure right here is a piece of art. It's definitely art. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's art and creativity. We have many different textures in it and shells. There's another staircase right here. And there's another staircase, there's another right, staircase here. right here. Oh, wow. Staircase going all the way up toward the top. Looks like there's a um, Holes to climb to the top that he probably used to get to the roof. But we have been saving the the tool room, and so we need to get in there and check it out. I think it's probably really cool. I, I read about it once. Okay, tool room. You know, that's what people come here to study about, if it's possible to reduce the weight of these pieces using acoustic. Well, Hutchinson, one of the guys that came, I met him in Seattle, and he actually levitated a cannonball. And you can see it in YouTube, too. Yeah. When we study about it, you can find Perfect it. Place, then. John DePew yes. talk about that, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, you see what I wanted to bring here. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> we are looking at the artifacts of his uh, electronic system that he, electronic and who knows what else, electromagnetic system that he created. And we have a sign here that says, all that, you may pause if you want to read it. Pause if you want to read it. <laughs> what was that, yeah. That's it. Oh, I read it earlier. It basically says, these are the tools that he used, and he did it by knowing about pulleys and stuff, and and um, and, and um, opposing magnetic fields. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about that here. It says all pulleys, so it says over here. Okay, so it says that. Over yeah, there. next to the little, it's like later in his life he experimented with this stuff. Right. So this is the information on this one. That thing. That thing. Thank you. Some kind of a phone call. He creates his own part of the system. Yes, I know. Putting metal. Corey, 
Yeah. <laughs> His phone was ringing. But, but Jamie will have to call me back, or I'll call him back. He'll leave a message. He's a great guy. This is really neat. Isn't this cool? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah so we have so we have. Yeah, that's the copper wire that he used to cut these blocks. Apparently. So he used just a high frequency ferrous signal. He used a few things. Apparently, some kind of acid too. That he did the. Uh, running electricity through the copper, laying it down on the design on the way he wanted it to be trimmed and it would fall down and separate the molecules with the between the electricity and the acid of some sort and create a new solution wow. that had the that was made up of coral and the liquid and then he could use that as cement to adhere blocks together. That's the theory. Okay, well that is Oh so so he has, see this right here? This is cemented together because the solution that, it, the, that resulted from his cutting the blocks became kind of a liquid concrete that he was able to oh, use as glue and glue things together. Oh. And we have the entrance stone that I bet Nate is going to demonstrate. That's if you want to demonstrate this, this is the stone in the beginning. This one's still on its axis really well. Like when going you go there, around. Is this taller at one point? No. Hold on. Cut out. He's the See, this is the entrance here. And, and it's one hour from the capital, from Lima. Peru. And it just goes it's one it's hand. I think it's, what do you say it weighs? Two and a half tons? It's kind of another stone hinge. And if you go to my country, go to Some tons, this thing weighs tons. You know, two and a half, we think, something like that. And it just spins just because it's perfectly balanced. These guys are rocking the rock. Rocking the rock, yeah, yeah. Okay. And this line going to the sun, and then this other line going to Earth, and it says 21. It's 21. So what's that again, Nate? Well, it says Earth, well, frequency 21. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, I'm tripping balls and things are telling me how to move stuff. See? Mm -hmm. It says Earth, Earth 21. There's like a little marker for it. Then there's the sun. And then like an alignment with some other planet. Some other on the other moon side. or planet. I wonder if it has to do with our with that planet over there. there. And, and our Saturn. Moons. So that sun yeah. lined up with Saturn and those two planets. Yeah. Saturn? Able to just well, this Saturn? looks like also a um, telescope kind of a thing, or oh yeah, what, what is it call it? Is it the daylight one? Well, I don't know. I know the other one's a north star, right. and then we have all these other things down here. Oh. Notice. Be careful of anything you do on these premises. That is. At your own risk. Yeah, it seems like a really relatively safe place though. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff here, but it seems has a good, great vibe. This place has a really good vibe, doesn't it? Great vibe. Great vibe. Yeah. He's only five feet tall. He's still up there. He's only five feet tall. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I mean, not only. But yeah, I guess we need to. I want to go up in his living quarters. Have you been up there yet? There is a picture. Oh, there's a picture of him up here. This is upstairs. So we're coming up into the, into the room. You can see we're overlooking the, the whole thing here. So the, we have the front. There's the front right there and that rotating stone. We're coming up into is apparently a living area. Hey, nice. Very nice prison, huh? Oh. How much he has to love this woman to sacrifice his almost whole life to, to live like this. Well, yeah. 